Welcome back to part two of uh, September's uh, tour. Uh, I must have pressed the wrong button after we looked at the red cabbages. So now we're in the brassica cage and the white fly are absolutely everywhere. These are the uh, purple sprouting. Uh, we've got some nice uh, savoys here. The cauliflowers have done no good whatsoever. So I'm going to be testing the soil because obviously I've had trouble in the past with my uh, calabrese as well. And the Brussels sprouts look nice and healthy but I might have to do something about the white fly. And uh, the small sprouts have just started to develop now and anything that I don't think is going to do any good I'm going to take out. I'd rather have just a few, but some of these don't look very good at all. It is a shame. And we've got some small florets there of uh, broccoli, calabrese. Just before they start opening up, I'm going to take those. So these are, uh, well, that one's still okay, but that one uh, has uh, gone too far. It's well worth just taking the main stem and then just keep uh, keep harvesting. Some of them have gone completely too far, but I'll cut all these flowers back. Should get a few more. Doesn't help the bees in here because they can't get in. And that's the cauliflower. No, not worth having. Make good compost though. I left this dandelion, I was going to make a big attempt at getting some of the uh, dandelions out and some of the docks, the long rooted varieties and uh, I'm going to struggle with this now. This is actually in the fruit cage. I tried picking a few of these blueberries but they're not very good. If you remember, they uh, I didn't water them but uh, they'll stay on. And that ladybird is uh, enjoying something. I had a really nice crop of summer raspberries and so now we've got to be thinking about taking some of the uh, old wood out and looking at it now that could be one there but I've got to uh, get those cut out because the wood's actually looking very very similar now. This is the rhubarb that we left on the surface over the winter, replanted, nine crowns. Haven't touched this at all this year, so hopefully next year we'll have a nice bumper crop. Very unusual to see one of these butterflies around at this time, holding on for grim death. But we're still getting some uh, really nice raspberries, the autumn variety at the moment. Even though I picked some of the rhubarb for the show, it hasn't affected it. And all this now will just die back, feed the crowns and give me uh, hopefully a nice crop for, for next year. And the uh, autumn gold raspberries have been absolutely wonderful. Really enjoyed those. Still got a few more left to pick. I taking up some space where the we, we replanted in these containers after the vine weevil attacked and we've got a couple of containers spare so uh, these are my safe seized uh, the money makers we've got the shop bought supermarket sweet vine tomatoes gigantimo has gone rotten money maker there dandelion that needs to come out now these strawberry plants all died off thinking the vine weevil had got them but it may have just been they needed water but look at them they've uh, come back really healthy what I'll do with these I'm going to lift them out wash the roots off make sure I've got no vine weevils within it and then repot them up look at these uh, vine tomatoes just can't help myself every time I walk by them to help myself. I'm going to be pulling a few of these out because I need the soil. If 
out of here uh, more so I need the aluminium containers I'm scrapping those to try and build a few funds up uh, for the allotment they're not very good for growing in leaks outside it's not one of the biggest ones just the first one I've come to I might just take a few of these uh, leaves off just to get rid of some of that uh, mess and this uh, as always the asparagus is uh, still growing well now if you remember we had the morning glories here beautiful giving a lovely canopy but they just took over so I want the grapes to take over now and it's uh, you know it's surprising these Boscoop glories are just going mad be nice to sit there and pick some grapes so I've been training some of them in here and that's what I've used the extended clips for again we're having a little light issue there guys but not pruning this this year there's in it go a pomegranate plant bush tree whatever you'd like to call it I haven't touched that much other than taking one or two uh, branches off but I have had to uh, do something with a peach tree it was trying to push the glass out not sure whether I'll really need that in there and I may take it outside to replace some of the plants some of the tr fruit trees that aren't doing so well again this is another one of the supermarket uh, varieties and uh, this one's just gone wild side shoots and everything so it'd be interesting to see this is how you would normally buy them in the shops all red of course so let's see how long I can keep uh, grabbing fruits for this is one of the giant marrows that uh, I had sent me uh, some seed I've had it growing in the uh, compost bin and uh, I don't think uh, we're going to break any records at Malvern with that but it's been an experience you may remember when I did my uh, potato reveals to get the red uh, at the purple and kidney shaped potatoes for the show uh, they're all in there at the moment and that's where they'll stay until I need them covered up sunlight can't get at them hashtag small seed potato experiment and they're still growing so they can stay there Put that comfrey off to the floor it's back again so it'll be time for this one to go in the compost bin as i said before i've put leaks all over the place to try and stop the onion leaf miner and now the potato in a bucket of stones is actually finished i'll be doing a separate video on that this is one of the the newer of the fruit trees that we got and uh, this is uh, Rayburn that's uh, looking quite good there's a smaller one there that is just catching up but I didn't want many fruits this time and this one is supposed to be a Cox's orange pippin but it looks remarkably like uh, the Brayburn I don't know what variety this one was but the apples were not nice so I'm going to uh, graft something on the bottom not sure what yet but whatever seems to do well I did take the uh, pear from here uh, managed to get a, a bit of flesh off it but as you saw in previous videos it wasn't very good this one's got a few marks on it but I'll be taking that one soon it's not quite ready yet just lift them up Again, it does not look anything like what I've got uh, on my uh, the tags that blew off. But they're a nice clean apple. That's the main thing. Won't be long before I uh, detach all these from the, uh, the parent plants. And the uh, best way to find out is if you've... Uh, if they've rooted down just give them a bit of a tug 
and there is a little bit of a sign there that uh, the roots are reached the bottom so these could be cut now from the mother plant which I think I think oh here we go look how well they've done oh that's well into the ground oh dear I'm slacking a bit never mind won't hurt them looking forward to uh, using the trommel on my uh, my leaf mould some more bits of the trommel there but uh, and then this is last year's uh, fall leaves they're compacting down really well there was 18 one ton bags gone in there unbelievable sorted out how I'm charging these batteries up I'm charging them up on my main solar panel these small units aren't good enough but uh, that does work well now pleased with that and get that area tidied up and considering uh, the wildflower garden did okay as well but there was far too many of the same variety so I'm going to pull those out dig it over this time and just let nature take its course so this is the end of part two of the September tour. Just finishing off on hashtag starting new allotment. That's plot one, the fruit garden, wildflower garden, and where I make all my liquid plant foods. So all I can say is thank you very much for subscribing, commenting, sharing, liking. Uh, happy gardening to you all. Until next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.